The awesome thunder of the V8s as the racing legends return to Mount Panorama. For a crowded gallery, it was a sneak preview of what's to come when the drivers line up for the Primus 1000 Classic on October 19. And a chance for fans to honour their hero, Peter Brock, hoping he can have his cake and eat it too, with a perfect tenth title on the mountain circuit. It would be an incredible finish, I suppose, but the reality is that uh, all you can do is give it your best shot and hell, I've had a pretty good innings. Mark Scaife will partner Brock in the chase for the fairy tale finish, while Glenn Seaton will strive to win his first King of the Mountain title. It has been a race that has eluded us in the past, but uh, hopefully this year it won't elude us. But uh, I think Peter Brock will have something to say about that because he wants his tenth, and uh, it'll be great to see him get his tenth. Defending champion Craig Lowndes will return to the mountain from a challenging year in Formula 3000. Holden Racing Team's Greg Murphy shared the win with Lowndes last year. This time they're expecting tougher competition. Last year we were favourites, this year I think there's a number of cars that are up for favourites. So uh, we have to work very, very hard, but we're looking forward to the challenge. Seaton and Murphy were the fastest around the track today, both clocking 2 minutes 11.22 seconds in the top 10 shootout. With a record 41 V8s already entered in the race, it'll be difficult to avoid trouble. Larry Perkins, one of this afternoon's victims, leading privateer John Faulkner also provided a spectacle after hitting the wall. But the fans only had eyes for one man. Stay right there.